Legacy Model VP. Naku, lakad mo. Lakad mo na lang. Lakad mo na to. Um, given it's a tiny Beastmaster, it should be okay. fine. All right, oh. you know what? That sounds a pretty good pick, too. It's a uh, range core. With this change in DPC format, uh, you have the opportunity for... Whoa, whoa, there he's just going in. Yeah, TNT a little bit crazy. He gets hit by the stun. Now the axes as well. TNT trying to run up to the high ground. Can he make it? He cannot. But they run a tidy terribly. If they didn't get away with this lane, then I think they'll be fine, honestly. This is the biggest concern I saw. He ought to be dead top lane, though. He is. He went way too far mm -hmm. forward. I am not sure what he was doing. Although, the top maybe lane. not this strong. I do see them go for WS, but Lion X will die first as the Sparklers have been set up. One will hit WS, but he has a magic stick just in case. Auto attack from KMP. Another Sparkly set up. Not Frank, given his pretty decent stats, uh, you, can, you can actually do a fair bit of damage. Look how yeah. much they reposition Ponyo. Ponyo. Ponyo, he's going to die here to the auto attacks. There's a the Psychic coming into play. Reflection a little bit too late. In the top lane, though, Lion X was die as well to WS. And it's going in down as well, so he might just die if they get one more auto attack in, but they can't manage it. Bumbui staying in the trees, Ponyo now covering here. Maybe he's trying to concentrate in the tower, keeping keeping the catapult alive right now. Another creep wave is coming to help out no, with this. TP they have a magic coming. wand, a massive wand here for uh, BB, so he's not going to die more slightly. TP, by the way. TP's here. They try to toss back, but the Tiny's just dead. Breathe fire to finish him off. There's the massive wand coming into play as Wonderboy also dies, underestimating BB's wand. Even Mangoro's joins and all. He just needs two more auto attacks on the tower, but he's not going to find it. Basically, just one actually with the Elder Dragon form active, but he's not going to risk it. He's playing it safe. Top lane. Oh, they were making another play for KMP, but I think they're going to now be able to punish here. Yup, Rubik. Primal Roar, and he's gonna die to the auto attacks from the creep. WS now. There's Spark Base everywhere. Lion Axe nearby. There is a Scatter Blast available too in two more seconds. Can he kill WS with it? No, but the Spark Base will do the trick here. WS falls. The Ever Spirit joins. KMP once again killed under tower, and they still have that creep. Annoying Lion Axe getting the last hit for WS as Sans tries to gain some space. Unfortunately, DB will find him with a brief fire. Be, they push, they have. Great job. Now they have kisses though. They could initiate on someone, but they need BB to get closer. Cookie there, first. There kisses launched. They're going for WS first. Telekin needs to keep him in place. They're dealing a lot of damage though to the DK. And Mystic Flare will get rid of BB. And this is for WS. Here come the reinforcements. KMP and TNT both join Sans. <laughs> Actually gets the last of the tower thanks to the dispose. So they'll there are. That will help. And that detects them. KMP though oh, might still he's die still as he's taking the weirdest path possible. The longest one actually back home. Luckily, he gets saved by the cookie. BB is the target instead, and BB gets the kill on Ponyo. And the Ember wants to commit to KMP. KMP is the fairy fire. A little bit of a flux. Kill has no remnants. Blood. The slight light of fist. The remnants has. Yeah, you're right. There's oh, no the remnants. Sunder. Sunder might just save him. They can't get to <laughs> Mantle in time. And instead, it's TNT. Stole gets saved by Rubik Sunder. Boy, showcasing he can do it too. Okay. Nobody dies thanks to some some great plays from. It's fatal first for an, an additional 35. It's multi multiplicative though. Uh, choice here uh, to defend with BB first as he was afraid to die earlier and apparently they'll get a kill on Tiny but maybe at the expense of his own life. One more hit from the Ember, he's gonna Radiant find BB. The Arc Warden at least kept his distance but BB who was afraid... Fortunate timing for him or he knew the timing's like the back of his hand. Bottom though, they will kill Ponyo very likely here who is trying to find yes. off his Blink Dagger. Well, you're right, he does 40 damage. <laughs> With a fate bolt in the yeah, it's, it's brutal. It's, he's, he's, he's grown now BB? fully. BB? Yeah. The, oh, okay. He is decided to stun Sans instead. He just ignored the TB altogether, huh? Interesting choice. Because they committed kisses for this and then immediate buyback. Now the stun for the TB is out. But he's ready to fight. Oh. Oh. Maybe with a Mystic Flare stolen, <laughs> and it's just the Marsiple's Mystic Flare that gets rid of him. Wonder Boy, he acted his own BKB. Beastmaster's in a really weird position, going for the tower instead, tries to kill up KMP, the real one, and he will get the kill in his inch for his own life, as Marcy's dealing with terrible For the Roche. They've got good vision. Marcy's doing nothing, right? Oh, there oh, they go. Oh, okay. That's a job. There they go, dispose. No need, actually, just the un... No, he didn't even unleash TNT, just hitting normally. Yep. That was absurd. Double BKB used for that, but very well worth it, because now you can yeah, easily you take Roche. Look, as soon as the Atlas comes back on the Marcy, they uh, can't go for Roche. They could go for Tiny. Not the ideal kill, though. They're looking for something better. That's why Marcy's not revealing that she's in the smoke yet. As the Gleipnir catches the Ember, this could be the opportunity looking for, but it's using their illusions extremely exp expeditiously. Yeah. 
XP, yeah, sure, that's a word. They got a really good pummel roll. This might be able to cancel Marcy, but she activates that unleash. Still haven't come by the TP. Trying to hope for a bash. Doesn't get it. Mangroves with his BKP is going to be unkillable now as you've lost your real carry, Marcy. KMP has lost the clone as well. Two more seconds for the next clone, Rubik. Does look at ease himself to safety as now the oh, BKB of BD is also activated. They want to continue flying this. It's going to be Ponyo who dies first. They're playing around the high ground effectively, and the clone goes forward, hoping to finish off Mangroves, who's still under available. That the, the Ember Spear is fighting around, hoping to get the Rubik kill, and he will find it. Just Even okay. with a bubble, they can't push him out in time. That BKB will save him. Food Vessel one, not the best of fights. They need it. Any bubbles left? They do. They have two bubbles. Just use them. Oh. Okay, there's the Hex coming into play. And that might be a dead ember because they got him the Dragon Tail as well. Underboy gets the BK off just in time. Can he actually use the weapons to get safe? Yeah, apparently so. They were doing something different. It's going to be the TV instead. They say one Hex for him. They baited him out. Goodbye. Double roar. Who cares? Marcy just thanked through that. They couldn't have any damage for him because the TV was done. Sky of Mage is a freebie at this point. The toss will not save his tiny. And a TV by WS that will at least save him. But they lost their main carry, and that baiting of the sheep stick was mwah by KMP. I was wondering why they didn't wait for the other two components. Oh, right, because they killed it going on the way to the secret shop. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, smoke breaks here. Oh, he's That's just going in. Don't cut your image. Okay. Uh, they will kill the snap fire, right? Yeah, they do. Not bad. Come on the floor now. Can't but, uh, where is Marcy is the real question. Where's the real damage? Apparently not really needed as DK's just doing the trick and now the Marcy finally joins the fray. The target is this Terrorblade who does get a Sundra off on the clone, but she's just going to continue. Yeah, he's going to. is not as strong. TNT is just better right now. Got the badge he needed to secure the skill and TNT, even if he dies, he killed the enemy carry. Now it's time to kill off this poor WS with the Dragon Tail. That should be sufficient. Mortimer is even committed and the Arc Warden will finish off this poor Tiny in a very crowded team fight fought on like six different fronts where eventually Udwest 1 wins. Despite the buybacks, they will condemn them and turn them into diebacks instead. So stupid how much uh, Ghost Force you can have here. Yeah, I mean, they are Rubik Illusions, but still, it does help. I mean, it's just uh, just sending a bunch of things over and over, right? KMP is just keeping his clone there. Look. That was what he was trying to surprise him with. Can he actually kill the Sky of Mage? He went for the E Blade for a little bit of extra damage, almost finishing him off. Primal Roll has to be committed here, and they're trying to get a kill on the back line. TNT finally gets in onto Mango Rose, and he has no big AP, oh, but no. he has no HP, so they can't Sunder him either. He has to Sunder a teammate instead. TNT's down. This might be a chance for them to actually win a fight here. As all they're trying to do right now is safely push. KMP finally gets in with the clone. Where's the follow up damage? It seems like they have none. Just trying to annoy Mangaros here, who still, by the way, can't hit because he has no MKB. So the Pumple just completely nullifies him. The illusions are at least dealing with this range rex. Oh, goodness. That oh, e goodness. spam, man, is more annoying e than E-Blade spam, the bubble spam as well. Barracks fall in here, plus 300 for Wonder Boy, but minus one lane of Barracks. Ancient exposed. Against this Arc Warden, against this DK that has this much farm now, it, it does seem really hard. Oh. Now, they found the Ember Spirit. Luckily, he has BKB just in time. They really need Marcy to join these fights, and she wasn't there yet. So DD as well, the outpost. The lingering, it's just chilling in the river down here. See if anyone decides to grab that, but for now, just throwing illusions. Oh, oh, oh goodness, that damage. Easy target in Skyrath Mage. Ponyo tries to catch him with the avalanche, he's already in the high ground, difficult to kill him. Mangaros. Uh, Mangaros is the target now. They hexed him once for the second hex. They need it. He got the BKB off and the Sunder. Mangaros for now is alive, but he's just chasing after him, punching him whenever he goes. Mangaros finally falls. Has to his BKB. Has to his buyback, sorry, but he has no metamorphosis as they now find this tiny. He uses the Ghost Scepter, but not for long. Good part of the tiny as well. Two supports down for the count. And the three cores are still alive, though, at the yeah. expense of their own buybacks, though. No meta, though, for another 10 seconds. I mean, the Silver Edge just, has absolutely just done nothing for TV, unfortunately. There's that gem they purchased a while ago. Careful. TNT's got DD. Yeah, you can't deal with TNT right now. Just, just attack the Ancient as WS falls. Yeah. Everyone's standing That's in the base. Bye-bye, Ancient. This is this, you just ignore that aspect of the hero and just play him as a tank? Nah, now that's fucked, too. Uh, but the map checks go. out. Okay, let's see top lane. Physics Level one, oh, no flesh sheep. Huh? No flesh sheep. Flesh sheep that's not a dead KMP. Yeah. No, no, the flesh sheep was already off by the time they jumped on him, which is why. And then the passive, right, is the biggest component there. Uh, Ponyo has his TP canceled down bottom. Nice little rebound in time, and they will get this just with the right clicks.
Boom, boom. Yep. Okay. Yep, that's fine. Kill secure. But he has to use Vern to get away. The Faith Bolt is luckily absorbed by that Flame Guard. But a Marcy that is hasted will reach Wonder Boy and allow DB to get the kill. Yeah. AMP does die in the top lane, but apparently yeah. that's his game plan every game. I need to at least be able to, to lane versus this uh, spider to not allow her to take over the lane is going to uh, be the, Snowball. the move. You have hook as well, sense. Ooh, nice that move. was a good hook, AMP. Wonder Boy couldn't block it in time. And uh, KMP gets away with this. Now, however, the Searing Chain's on him. His Flesh Sheep is no longer active. They kill him with a spawn Spiderlings. BB's the next target. Alex oh, no, Ponyo. Making sure that BB cannot <laughs> retreat. Now the Snowball. He'll be forced to go out of his Ice Shards. They have any more area damage they do. Mech to buff you up. And, of course, the Wagon onto the tower which from the 10-minute wave. This one is still going to drop. Well, these cookies have been on point, actually, these creeps. Now the Mortimer's Kisses for TNT. That's Mech this time, though, and actually going to fight this aggressively. Sans gets hooked once again. KMP doesn't even need to use this member. They're going to kill Sans first. Going for both support. Getting some flesh heap stacks for this Pudge. It's going to work out. Oh, two more. And the Rubik still spawns. Mortimer gives you so much effective HP, so I understood that, right? But now it just seems to be the flavor of the month item, and everyone's buying Wraith on everyone. And I don't know how valuable it actually is. Seems to be. They're going to try top lane for KMP. He has a dismember though to heal back up. There we go. Gets close enough. Dismember, unfortunately, only level one. Not enough heals. Also lacking a little bit of strength there. Lion X, he regrets this. He stole Scatterblast, kills the spiders. Shotgunning spiders. Boyu dies in the bottom lane, but unfortunately, Lion X, I don't think he'll be able to make it out of here alive. Yep. Another kill there. Ah, yes. Quite similar behavior, I'd say. Yes, yes, yes. BB has no mobility and probably no life points remaining after the kisses hit him. Has Snowball. Oh, no, does not have nope. a Snowball. What, was he Snowball farming? Oh, nice. Yes. That's the... Yes, he did that to the wave. Radiant. Now, Vessel wants. Mm. He has silence still, though. I think he's afraid of u using it because he's going to be avoided. Or just, just baiting TNT. Is someone with him? I guess he's just very strong, but eventually they're going to kill you if you stay there long enough. Yep, that'll be something. Well, we'll see, though. He's going to be, yeah, smoked on here. KMP, the string chains, cookie. The cookie misses, but it's okay, because Tiny Life Steel are already on him. This is the concern with a Pudge pick, right? You didn't last pick the Pudge, so Life Steel just eats you up. It was a really, really good Life Steel game. Bumboy in the bottom lane was trying to push out the wave. He gets disposed. Bumboy still has a TP, but no chance to use it. There's already Desolator on Manga Rose. This is a little bit of a crazy suggestion, honestly, but I wouldn't have minded if he actually went Deso first and then just fought with his team yeah. and, and pulled in DP into the Snowball, because DP's not dying here, oh. right? Yeah. Mango Rose. Yeah, oh, I mean, okay. what does BKB yeah, okay. do there? BKB so late, though, as well. There's the Dismember, at least, but they don't have the damage on the top. It is. seems like Philip needs to keep him in place. Mango there Rose will finally fall. It is from Bumbui, KMP, and also TNT. Maybe. Okay. No, definitely. Maybe. Right. Definitely. Oh, okay. Definitely, sir. Best cure against ghosts is shotgun. Shotgun. Yep, absolutely. BKB feels stupid. Right. That's that's a fair point. That's a fair point. I guess it's just a new go high gun now. Well, well, I, 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 what do you mean? You're, you're telling me that physical damage oh, carries also have to be oh, spell Oh, my casters? God. He hooked a corpse. Mortimer's oh. kisses kills TNT as well. Oh. That's from extra some down. At least Bumbui was pretty strong here. And he got a kill onto the enemy tiny, but it's a kill. <laughs> Wonder Boy's just chasing them back into their base. He might even get the kill with a cookie. They did! This combo of Snapfire Ember is working wonders for them. This is what they needed the first game. I think this game can end. I think they in three targets. No, they fortify. That'll be the last one that they have. Yep. Mangrove still has the rage, by the way. He just fights BB head on. And he's not the Aegis, by the way. Yep. Once again, target is tiny. Exorcism did get used this time. Okay. They're punching Mangroves all they got, but he's full HP again. TNT is the target. A little bit more damage to finish off okay. his DP. Probably just disengage before the Exorcism ends. Unless they just wow. defend him right again. Oh, what a combo. Kisses are now being thrown as well. BB goes into his snowball. KMP has no such snowball. He's just a big flesh heap. Killed off KMP. Killed off BB win for Atlantis. Just give up. Yes, and now at this stage, you're 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 praying that they... Yeah, there it is, the GG. You're, you're praying if you're the best one that they somehow dive in your fountain. Uh, that's not happening here, and that'll be game number two in the books as Atlantis will go ahead and claim victory here. Flynn as well, and like okay. scale pretty heavily like that. Right. In for a tiny. Right. Once again, I think his lane is just difficult for him. I, yeah. I, it feels like Atlantis doesn't have the... Um, uh -oh. Oh, top Drop. lane, actually. 
Yeah. Yeah. Lion X will gaff onto you, especially before you have that leap away. It's a fairly easy kill. Really good bushwhack there, set everything up, and they have a very easy first blood for themselves. TNT will get tossed back though in the bottom lane. The Mangroves gets the kill. And that's what we're talking about with the Doom. Just to... like the change as a Marcy, that rebound is now your stun, right? I think as, as disposed, those catching those kinds of heroes that was a bit more difficult. Okay, Mango Rose, they've missed the Scatter Blast and the Cookie against him. He's just yeah. dancing circles around him. Ponyo does get the Avalanche off as well, and Mango Rose might be able to get the kill. One more hit will do the trick as Thumbui. It's crazy how these small decisions end up mattering. No, Mango, he didn't get the pushback. Nice cut. I think he cut the tree there. No, but it's Mango who's just going to die down bottom this time. No fancy oh, movement will see him out of this one. They're leaving him alone way too much in this bottom. I mean, and the, the carry being out of position in that position as well is just unnecessary. Uh, Santa's here though, so they can get a kill now on TNT perhaps. Oh, in fact, it's going to be... They're going to go for the Sapphire first. They missed the pushback though, and now Mangroves could be in trouble himself as the Koki sets up for this. TNT hits him with the Infernal Blade, also slowing it down thanks to the Frost Attack. Mangroves trying to get away best he can. He can't turn around and, and fight, which means he will fall here. TNT... Does get pushback and tossed <laughs> here, and that combined damage of both abilities will guarantee this kill. So at least they'll be able to clean up shop here. Atlantis getting a lot of farm and gold. Uh Mango, though, yeah, as we see, is now into the jungle. <laughs> Boom Booey just being a bit annoying. Oh, oh, Chrono. Up lane, they commit a Chrono, and now the arrow as well as Puck. He's not gonna be able to get out of here alive. Oh. Starstorm has to make sure he falls. Stop. Lion X now in trouble oh. as WS tries to finish him off with a leap, save him. And BB comes here with a searing oh. cane. Pushwreck, though, will make it impossible for him to use him. BB's now the one in trouble. He's out of mana completely. Hit by the rebound wow. as well. Put a spirit. Who cares? And WS even got the kill there with the uh, pulse. In comes BB. We do have a bushwhack available. BB will be good arrow. Up to a tree. However, the damage is not there. It's flipping everything, and WS is now burning up into the Infernal Blade. They even commit the Doom here for the Terror Blade. Boom Booey gets the stun with the cookie. Dream Cold to counter initiate, but it won't be sufficient to save this Terror Blade. They can only do a cleanup crew as BB running away from a lot of monolith heroes. Wonder Boy is the only one that can really stop him, but he's out of remnant for another eight seconds, six seconds, five. And they timed this silence well. He's waiting for it. Can he calculate it? Waiting rift on point, but just nobody to help him. Avalanche misses because BB is just too fast and his face moves he saves him as Sans gets killed off by Lion X in the back lines. Yeah, really good stuff there. I think with the uh, Hoodwink being in the mix, they actually probably, he can consider it, right? I, I think it's not a bad build for the Snapfire. So I wouldn't mind seeing that. But I feel like Doom is a really good speed build. I guess this game, the Doom is a little more important. Oh, they cut WS. Oh, arrow. With a Searing Chains combo. Oh, Bushwhack. Uh, <laughs> they commit a sharpshooter, and WS walks inside the Chrono. But the Dream Quill, maybe to counter initiate, right? Tries to kill a KMP. It works. KMP's already down. Wonder Boy satisfied. He walks away. He has a magic wand, so he has enough mana regardless. And it'll be a carry for an off later. Well, Ulti's whiffed there. No Chronosphere Dyer's immediately as follow-up, so things are a little bit awkward here for Udvesawan, even if they are, if, even if there is no sorry Dream Coil to play into. I think this is fine. You just take this as an opportunity to farm up your next item. Double Midas, by the way, with KNP having one in the Doom with another, as they will make a play now for KNP down bottom. Avalanche follow-up. There's the toss for the lockdown, and they have the kill. Lovely. Nicely done there. And this KMP uh, is positioned. Even consider Roche. Honestly, maybe they even do Roche. Oh, hold on. Okay, they found Ember for now. Avatar as well for the Doom. They're trying to bunch them together. The Doom is forced onto the Marcy. As Mortimer's gets a raining down for this tiny. Oh, and the Chrono does catch the other support as well. A uh, Doom Marcy doesn't seem to care. Just brings down KMP. Yeah. And the Mangroves finally joins the fray, hoping to finish off Bumbui with a bushwhack. It will work. Wood Vessel 1 loses three, two of which are cores. In exchange, they only get one tiny, and they also used all the wind. Pucks hate building BKBs, by the way. They, they, uh, they will almost always avoid doing it. Whoa. Yes. Drink oil? Okay. okay. Oh, he breaks it, actually. I've on the top of this. They bushwhack him. They hit him with everything they got, and that will be enough to kill off BB. Yeah. Our seats be holding this first ages. But I, I think I, if their idea was we're not trying to go high ground with this, ooh, Chrono. Okay. That's the target you wanted. The Marcy. You got rid of it. Not bad. Took a while, but they got rid of it. And now they can continue and try to kill something else here. Conjure Image will detect where the TV is. He just got Doom. This is what the Ages was for, which they prevent this potential fight from happening. Yeah, but he has no metamorphosis. He has Sunder, so he's going to lose the Ages once and probably a second life here now, soon thereafter. Yeah. If he gets hit by the arrow, two TV yeah. dead. 
Fuck is annoying the Doom. Just Don't push right the See who wins this uh, smoke fight between the Landers and Ood. If they should find TNT, that'd be ideal. They're going for an easier target than Snapfire. The DD procs, though, on. This isn't the greatest of things, honestly. Boom Boy is whatever kill. In fact, they can still fight around this. Chrono, that catches the two best targets. And they have it now set up for the Doom on the puck. But TNT, he's downing. He's out right. for Wonder Boy. He's actually got to the high ground. He dooms the TB instead. He knows where his target was here with the kill Mango Rose. Did he have buyback? I, I would buy back here. Yeah, Ooh, best one. They have for now. They have nothing. The bushwhack. No ulties. No buy. No, no, BK, no, no BKBs. And be dead. Maybe they don't even need it. Maybe dooming the puck was the target all along. I think so, it's especially when she shows in Chrono. Oh, they cancel the TP there. Oh, this is disastrous for Udvest One. They don't even need to buy back on the teal. They have a big time in here. I think Udvest One. Did they just need to? Oh, they can. Oh, pushback. That was perfect. They even threw the pushback first before the tree to surprise the boy. Dream Cold just for the snap fire. They'll settle for that. They just want another extra kill. There's no way they can kill BB here. Yeah, and, and that's what I was about to say. Right. I, I mean, obviously, we have all, we have, you know, truth. Can I see? I can't, we can't see their wards no, they have, and stock. They have two observers on Boom Boy. You just haven't been able to get out of their base to put them down, actually. Oh, we can see their wards in stock. I didn't know we could see that. Okay. Yeah, I mean, oh, there's really? no observers on the map, and there's none in the shop, so they just haven't gotten to put them down yet. Bottom? Oh, yes, you can. They fixed this. Yeah, that's really nice. That is really nice. Boom Boy's dead. Now they're both saved by the Glimmer Cape. Dust. Well, he was worth at least 75 gold. Tiny so, does die I think yeah. that's a mistake because you still get a uh, another refresh back. You really want to try and force someone onto high ground to hit that thing. Exactly. Now you don't have two fortifies for this. Exactly. Now you use it on the racks as well. I mean, this is not bad though. Oh, good he just thunders a tiny. He knew. Uh, that's, Blood that's bag. Not a... oh. that's, this is still... oh, what? What? Gonna go for the Ember. He got surprised. He went in, but he got Bushwhack. And Hex as well, one with a good, good chrono, good actually, chrono. three, but, but he just lacks the damage. They have to go for Ponyo, oh, but Ponyo's just not a target they can kill either. KMP now has the to save, doom. and there's the area doom. Finally a way to catch the puck, but they have a read with a shard, which allows the puck to get away for now. TNP fighting the PB head on. That's going to be the first life gone, which means no metamorphosis, as that Wonder Boy ate on the props, which means he doesn't have any more damage. Finally, that end as he can kill TNP. Now go for Ember a second time. The boss like, catches him a second time as well. Sans, the bane of PB's existence. In the meantime, Mangrove is fighting as the remaining part of Urvesawan, even with a metamorphosis, he's stronger. Ooh. Like it. Okay. What can they find here? Ooh, BB would be perfect. There's the Hex coming into play, oh, but Aeon will save his life. However, that's level 25 proc. They go for the Hoodwink, trying to finish off this Hoodwink. It has been saved a little bit, a force up from the Tiny. And now TNT is oh. no position, but the Chrono comes from behind. Gets his Marcy and Puck with Mortimer's Kisses. Aeon Disc has to be used from the Puck to save himself. They use him to set up for the arrow. Now the Sunder as well. Mangro is trying to regain his health. Like the and with the Hex, they'll be able to finish off KMP. Both three. He's not even full HP, dude. It's like a minor inconvenience to Ponyo and a and a, and, and a major minor inconvenience for Mango. He doesn't have it for 30 seconds. He's not 25 yet. Yeah. Mango Rose, what is happening, brother? It's so weird because usually his oh hold on, they're in. Okay, they got an abyssal this time. They go for TNT, but TNT's quite tanky. Oh, we have a second no. chrono. Never mind. Nobody's in the second chrono. They use Darrow Wave as well, Richie, and they hit absolutely nobody. Mango is taking the weirdest path. And he's finally found the void as he realizes TNT should be the target. He slows down, but he has Glimmer Cape. He'll be safe because of this. BB activates the BKB. He has no remnants left, but somehow he's just walking away from the Terror Blade. It's just, it's just all walking away, Richie. Nobody's doing anything. Oh, that cookie will actually oh, do something. The arrow. And now it's going to be WS Dodge. What an arrow. That was a good arrow. I think Mangrove's going to be caught too, but they're going for the harder target, which is going to be the puck. Yeah, this is <laughs> There's a Sunder finally for Mangrove. The Dream Call used on the three, and that keeps these dogs leashed. Pretty good. It, uh, it is. is. It, it just feels like Atlantis is... Okay, I guess they could do this the whole time. What? What was that damage earlier, Richie? Walks up high ground, 20 seconds of ages, just wants to abuse as oh, much as he can. There's two Dagons now, by the way. Who's second one? Oh, Snap also has the Bowie. Oh, the Terror oh, Wave. The Fear Wave with the X. Can they snap the coil? Well, they need it. Where is December? He's in push like which is why he's going to come down. But they do kill him regardless. BB's dead. And now, WS is going for the Snap Fire, getting rid of one of the Dagons. The Void nearby. Chrono used only on Marcy. But no fault, it's just BKB, so no damage is only going to be the Void. We get pushed by WS. That's Green and Tonic here. And TNT is finally the Terraplane head on. He will get the kill he's looking he for. And at the same time, he dies. WS also falls here. 
It seems like we're best one might just win this fight as they get another chrono here. Aeon just ignored. Puck killed. Old best one is in this, Richie. What the hell? What is going on? It's not the more time. He was the first one. He was an innovator. Okay. Oh. They wow. found the Mirana. Mirana tends to get it. There's a Chrono, though, for the Marcy. That's the target you want the whole time. Mortimer gets it, but he's been hexed. Void stealing, no damage as a pig. Now activates the BKB. And now WS is finally gone. As you go for the tiny, up he goes, down to the ground, underground. Yep. Good, good effort there on the Havoc Hammer. Gave a little bit of a last hurrah, but Sans as well can't get out in time. Not as well as other cores. He will drop. No buyback on neither Hoodwink nor Marcy. Uh, there's a buyback on TB and 8 gold at the very least, but at the uh, this but is extremely is literally alone in the mid lane. Okay, well, not so bold. Not so bold. Genius. Genius play. Oh my god, I would have never guessed. Because, you know, they know KMP likes to die, right? So they just baited him into his own death, which I think is a fetish. Uh, literally, point. like, it was incredible. Because they literally just went, uh, what do we do? I don't know, smoke down mid? Okay. Smoke games for theirs. They've got great sound designers, honestly. They do have a great sound designers. One of the best things about Dota. Oh, they silenced the Ember. Uh, bro, they've nullified you. Yes, BKB at least. Tear away from behind. BB will refresh to get a second BKB and he'll save himself just barely. The killing does die KMP. in the middle of this. This poor boy is in trouble. He finally gets into the fray again. Wow. Thanks to the Doom, they can kill the Terror Blade. Yes, KMP doesn't even need to use the Chrono for now. That Book of Shadows will not save a Tiny who's still Doom. Can't TP, can't go anywhere. WS also fell behind. And who's the best one? They're back. I think Ember is more invulnerable than vulnerable now. I also think uh, he's basically invulnerable to these uh, coils now, right? Because you can just wind wake yourself out of him. Well, he got hexed because he kept doing the same thing over and over again, but he does have Aegis, though. That's the first kill going the way of Atlantis. The MP, he dooped himself just to go for the tiny. Void second life, nice trip goal here. Chrono. But Chrono answers this. Mortimer's kisses are raining down. Too much indigestion. Mangroves does have the Sunder, but doesn't have a target. The Yukon oh. finally gets the Ember, who is going to be his blood bag for the Chrono fight. Two. That's not going to be enough. Second Chrono. Satan comes from the sky. They kill the bug. Everything's dead. Who's best one? They pull us out of their ass, but they do manage to win game number three. I believe so. GG is called, and that is it. I, I cannot believe it. I mean, that's just what it is, right? You.